Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Brandon Beck, and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys today. Uh, it was something just suggested in the comments not too long ago was a how to port forward on, let's just say, a Windows server. Okay, so you go up and you can go up in the right hand corner here, hold your mouse, and you can click search. Now, if that doesn't work, you could also go here, click that, and click search. And with there, you can then type in firewall. And you, can, you see something like this, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Click that. And here you are. Okay. So, now normally a usual server, these options are disabled. Like inbound connections that do not match a rule are usually disallowed and stuff like that. Um, I just set it so they are allowed, but that's because I know the protection that my box has, every other, you know, dedicated server hosting company or stuff like that is different. Um, so normally, let's say you just bought one from like NFO or you just bought, you know, a dedicated box, you know, so you rented a dedicated box from someone or you get to, or a VPS with Windows Server. Um, you could just go to the inbound rules and this should be the only thing that you really need to change and you just go to new rule port and basically I know it doesn't let it, there's no option for both so basically what you'll have to do here is you, you know just 2302 and I also think you should port for the steam port but 2302 oh yeah 2302 2303 those are the two numbers you should port forward and you port forward them by writing something like that with a little comma there a space and then there you go put it for TCP first and click next make sure that it says allow the connection obviously keep that all the same right there just name it like arma3 server and then done okay now basically you'll have to do the same thing copy it paste it so we have two now now with the second one it doesn't really matter which one actually you could just click properties and you protocols and ports you could change that TCP to UDP apply and there you go and that should be how you can, that's how I port forward my servers on Windows Server. Um, if you're, let's say you're doing it on your home computer and stuff like that, you need to go to your, uh, there's tutorials on how to port forward certain ports and stuff. So you may need to look up a tutorial on that because I can't, there's just so many, everyone has a different router. I mean, I have AT&T, but everyone has a different router, so I can't really guarantee um, I'll be able to help you out. <laughs> But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, another tutorial I was requested to do was different game modes. Uh, I'm all completely down for the idea of different game modes. Uh, I have no problem with it at all. I just feel uh, I have to first learn up on them because I haven't actually set up Epoch and stuff like that. Now, note, is it probably really easy and I can do it? Yeah, of course. Um, if you get any errors... I know the tutorial was really fast, and I went through a lot of steps really quickly, and I know I didn't go in depth. If you don't want to use it, the MySQL thing the way I did it, you could easily do what I did in my last tutorial, and I highly suggest you know that you listen. You know, you listen to me saying this message right here. I highly suggest you use my last tutorial where I use Xamp and Navicat if you're having a hard time with the new MySQL thing. Now, no TanST may also require DirectX if you're if it says you're missing a DLL when you're trying to open it. Or start the server or whatever and you can actually just download that DLL and put it in the Arma 3 server folder um, outside of that yeah if you want me to just just start requesting some more stuff again um, I'm gonna try and see if I can maybe get some more videos out before spring break ends and there we go all right guys hope you guys enjoyed didn't want to spend too much of your time here and you guys have a nice evening thank you very much